Tabitha, you're on the run all the time. Mm-hmm. You're busy. You've got no patience. <laughs> what do you do for breakfast? What are you saying? I have no patience. Okay, so I make a shake. So what I do is I travel with a little blender and I just make a really easy shake. So I so use almond see. milk. Yeah. So almond milk is good fat, so that's really important. Of course, I use your sustain that is amazing. So sustain is a pea protein, which is a vegan vegetable protein made from peas. It's, it's actually a, just made from peas? It's made from peas wow. and it's a really good source of protein. I like blueberries so love I use blueberries. blueberries. Love blueberries. And blueberries are a great source of antioxidants so blueberries are a perfect addition to a shake. And I honestly just kind of take a handful. I don't measure anything, I just whack it in and it and tastes good. You also taught me this love. which sounded so weird to me until I tried it and it's so yum. I put some avocado in my shake. So avocado is another great source of really good fats that makes the shake creamy and thick. Tell me why, even though, because everyone goes, avocado's fattening, avocado's fattening, right? Right. So I'm putting avocado in my shake every morning, because I make this every morning. How come I'm not gaining weight and I'm eating several avocados a week, doctor? It's a myth that you get fat from fats, because you don't get fat from good fats you actually get fat from sugar. We've been brainwashed to think that all fats are bad for you. Okay. And that's nonsense. Is that so this why, is really good. Is that why my um, skin looks better as well? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, absolutely, it could oh, be, yeah. You ready? I'm ready. All right, I love this. It's going to be nice. So I just whiz it for a few seconds, just enough to actually blend the avocado. I like a little chunky with my fruit, so I like to actually get little fruit pieces in there. And then you can wax some ice in and you're good to go. Breakfast. Good. Can I have it? Can I taste some? Mm-mm. Listen, mm. whose show is this? Yours or mine? It's your show, but I'm taking over. <laughs> and I'm really hungry. <laughs> you don't want to piss me off when I'm hungry. I'm bad enough when okay. I'm not hungry. Okay. No, I'll taste wait. it, honestly. Could do with a little ice, but it's good. Mm, delicious. Yes. Absolutely yeah. honestly, delicious. Honestly, it's amazing. Delicious. This, to me, is an ideal meal. It's got good protein, good fats, phytonutrients, easy to digest because it's in a shake. Perfect meal. If you feel gluten is getting the better of you, here's some Be Well tips for the week. Try eliminate gluten for two weeks. You'll see how much better you feel. You'll feel vital. You'll feel healthy. Try it. Instead of gluten grains, try some rice, some amaranth, some buckwheat, some millet, and some quinoa. It's absolutely delicious. Instead of gluten bread, try some gluten free bread. Easy to get, also quite delicious. Try this, you will see how much better you'll feel. And you know what? You'll probably lose some weight too. I'm Dr. Frank Lipman, helping you be well today and every day. And I came to see you and I just said, I want to feel better, basically. I remember what we did was we basically got rid of anything that could possibly be bothering me. to quit your job and live the life you've always dreamed of. You're really living the dream, I would imagine, the expat dream. I feel more free here than I do in the States. This is it, man. This is the life. Join me, Savannah Jane Buffett, as I follow two buddies from college who quit their grueling office jobs and moved down to St. John to be bartenders in paradise. Now they're not just serving drinks, they've created the number one microbrew in the Caribbean. I looked out and it was about 30 cubicles. And at that moment, I said, I can't. I knew I wanted to roll the dice and that I wanted to take a break from what I was doing. Nice place to live, don't you think? Not bad. It was a very surreal feeling because this is all new to me. This is going to be my new home. At that point, we knew we were all in. They're the lucky guys, man. They make beer for a living on an island. It's just two guys hanging out in the Caribbean and, and brewing some great beer and, you know, living the dream, I guess.